Hi Leo, welcome back for welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to uh my channel. I'm gonna be doing your love reading, okay? Love reading for June 2021. Leo, I wanna let y'all know. For one, I love y'all. For two, Leo Gang. For three, check out all of your other readings that I've done. Um, I'm going to try to put them in the playlist, but if not, y'all just check my channel out and find your video, okay? Or find your Crosswatcher's video. Speaking of Crosswatcher, if I say that Crosswatcher feels this way, Crosswatcher is saying this, or Crosswatcher is doing this, but you know it's your Leo, please flip it, okay? Leo, if I say it's you doing this, it's you feeling this way, or it's you saying this, and it's your cross watcher please flip it thank you ancestors and guys for giving me a message for my leo gang okay i'm an august leo thank you for giving me a message for my leos 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 what's going on in leo's love life for june 2021 thank you all leos um for supporting me thank you for your love if these messages resonate or if you like my energy then go ahead and like and subscribe because i have more content for y'all and we're going to keep growing, as Leos do. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Leo. Show me what's going on in Leo's love life, please. What's going on in Leo's love life? You want these? Yes. Okay, it says, getting to know each other. You and a new person are getting to know each other, or you and a past person could be getting to know each other. This person is here. They want to get to know you. Say, you know what? I should have took the time out to get to know you in the first place because they're having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and letting you know this. Hey, I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, Leo. I should have got to know you in the past. Let's have this conversation and get to know each other. Or getting to know this new person. Getting to know this new person by having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. You've learned from the past. You're not jumping into relationships like you used to do. You're getting to know people and you're letting people get to know you first before you make any decisions or getting any connections or jump in the bed with them or you know anything like that before you let this person become your friend before you can call this person your friend you need to have this talk and get to know this person okay i'm seeing several talks before you decide to go ahead and work for this job or this company okay what's going on what do y'all stand for what are y'all doing for me what and i already know what i'm bringing to the table i'm a leo i'm bringing this lion to the table okay with your family and friendships the same thing okay brother or sister you know we have this type of relationship dynamic this is how it's gonna be this is me on and how i feel about it on my end how do you feel about it on your end getting to know people okay so singles Someone new could be coming into your life trying to get to know you and you're having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You're going to be able to do that because you're getting to know each other. And as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So your bond is going to deepen. Okay, we're going to see if past energy comes up. We're going to look on current energy and new energy. Okay. Show me any past people trying to get back with Leo, please. Show me any past people trying to get back with Leo. Here you go. There you are. Could be dealing with another Leo. Oh, shit. We, we gonna see. Show me any past people trying to get back with Leo, please. What's going on with this past person? What are they doing? How are they feeling? What are their intentions with Leo? This past person, their ex, or this past person? Oh, wow. Six of Cups. They're still, they, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They stuck in their head. They mad as hell about you. This person is mad as hell at you. I don't know what you did. You probably stopped talking to them. This person wants to see you, but they've been in and out. They've been the inconsistent one. They say, damn, did Leo move on and find someone else? Maybe they were in a relationship while y'all were together. Or this is this could be what they want with you, this Ten of Cups. Ooh, Lord, I'm seeing in the past, Five of Swords reverse, Page of Wands reverse, conflict, defeat. The communication just was not good. You guys couldn't you you guys didn't have a heart to heart conversation because you were too busy moving too fast. 
The Page of Wands moves too fast. The Knight of Wands moves too fast. I'm seeing this person could be upset because you slowed down communication with them with the Seven of Wands. Like, you need to slow down. You set boundaries. The King of Swords sets boundaries and rules and regulations. You're not finna just be all willy-nilly with me. You can't come in and out of my life. What's this uh, past person's intentions? They stuck on you, Leo. Oh, have, Lord have mercy. I wouldn't be surprised if this person was stalking your ass. <sighs> Could be dealing with the Gemini. This is a strong connection. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. What's this person's intentions for Leo? What's this person's intentions with Leo? Nine of Wands, they still go. You block this person, they can't They can't have no intentions. Clarify the Nine of Wands. It's the Pentacles. They want to give you an offer, but they still hurt. I think they're still going to be closed off. They want to give you an offer, but they, they can't get past stalking you, Leo. I don't know what you did to this person or said to this person. They probably just could not believe that you stopped talking to them. It was a shock for them. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, and they've been stuck in their head ever since. Stuck in their head, trying to get to you, trying to call you, okay? Trying to come towards you. But the Eight of Wands could represent blockages. This person can't even find you. Oh, Lord, Leo. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, you probably already married. You blew the whistle on their ass. You're done. This person could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of Earth. What's the possible outcome with this person from the past? They still stressed over you. They stressed. Okay. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Here go the King of Pentacles. We saw the Queen. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Virgo was worrying about somebody as well. Um, or it could be vice versa. Leo, you could be worried about someone or, you know, it, it all could be vice versa. Crosswatcher could have probably stopped talking to Leo. Leo is stuck in their head. They never thought Crosswatcher was going to stop talking to them. What's the possible outcome for Leo and this past person? What's the possible outcome for Leo and their ex, please? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, positive change. The Possible outcome is positive change. This person can't get stuck out of their head, though. They are in love with you. Obsessed, even. King of Cups, Nine of Swords. They like, I don't I don't want Leo to ever hurt me like this again. This, this person is hurting. This person is hurting. I see this person could be sick. This person could be sick, like bedridden sick. this person is in another relationship stuck in another relationship clarify the will of fortune temperance they want to come towards you and make peace with you could be dealing with the Sagittarius what's the possible outcome it's gonna go slow it's gonna go slow they are a soulmate but that's I don't really see too much of anything I don't really see no action. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So, divine timing. That's all Spirit is saying. Possible outcome is divine timing. And you're going to have to be patient. Okay? They do love you. And they stalk you. Stressed about you. Might be divine timing because this person is sick. They got some things they need to figure out. Okay, current person, please. Current person, Leos who are in relationships couple Leos or loosely involved Leos okay show me um, Leo and their current person they're dealing with okay strength you can be dealing with another Leo you both are holding back from each other or you're having the strength to try to make this work having the strength to try to get to know each other having the strength to try to have this heart to heart conversation okay um, what's this person's intentions? Oh, Lord, seven of cups. Okay. I think they only see you. They're having the strength to only see you. Clarify the seven of cups for their intentions, please. I don't know about this. What is going on? No, 
No, I don't know. This looks like drama. This looks like family drama. Clarify the five of wands for Leo and their current person. So you could possibly be trying to get to know this person right now. They're not who you thought they were. And it's like, oh my fucking God. You're, you're nothing like I thought you were. You're wishing you had this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. You're trying to get to know this person, but it's hard. I see you're doing a lot of course correcting. This is a lot of course correcting with this person. Course correction. Staying the course. Going to, you know, a different course. Co moving to calmer waters. Course correction. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. I see the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. This could be a soulmate or you could just have children with this person. Okay? Like, who the fuck did I just have kids with? Okay? What's the possible outcome for this current person and Leo? What's the possible outcome with Leo and their current person? Two of Swords. You have to make a decision. There's something you're not seeing that you need to see. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Damn, what is going on? A Okay, what is going on? Scorpio and a Virgo, you gonna end it and leave this person? They gonna end it and leave you? These are general messages. These are general messages. I'm seeing that you... Oh, you are trying to work on this. You really are. You really are trying to work on this. There are some things that need to end. You're trying to find out who this person is, for one, with the Hermit card, and transform, transform what's going on having heart to heart conversations you you have you've never done this before or maybe you you wish that you would have did this the first time with this person now you're gonna have your course correcting again with a death card i gotta end this and start over again okay you guys probably moved in together all fast you didn't know that that you didn't know this type of person person did this type of shit in the house and all all types okay and you like god damn i need to set some rules and boundaries for this motherfucker this could be your child? Why do I hear this is your child doing this? Okay. We do have the emperor reversed. So this person could be... You didn't know this person was so selfish. You didn't know they were so controlling. You didn't. You just didn't know. So the possible outcome is the four of wands. This is a good connection, but you got to put a lot of work into it with the three of pentacles. And you're trying to get to know each other with the hermit card and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Somebody could just be emotionally distant you didn't know this person was so fucking emotionally distant like i just see you wondering like who the fuck am i with i'm hearing that song there's a stranger in my house i did not sing it right but you know what i'm talking about okay show me this new person capricorn oh couldn't even shuffle the cards could be done with the capricorn show me the new person coming in to Leo's life, the new person coming into Leo's life to get to know them could be an Aquarius. The new person coming into Leo's life that they'll be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with and that they'll be getting getting to know. This new person. Ooh. I think I like this new person. Show me the new person if your cards will shuffle. I don't know if I like this new person. Let's see. Okay, okay, they have potential. Show me this new person, please. Show me this new person and their intentions with Leo. What's going on? Show me this new person, please. Leo and their new person. Wow, the Ace of Cups. And every new person reading, you get the Ace. You, got, I can't even talk. Every time I ask about the new person, the Ace of Cups comes out. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. I think I like this new person, definitely. Real honest, genuine, true love. This person will actually want to get to know you, uh, females. This person will actually take the time out, you know, spend time on you. Get to know you emotionally. Invest in you with the Ace of Pentacles. Invest in you emotionally and financially. I see pregnancy. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I see marriage. I see long-lasting happiness and abundance. For my men, this girl is a keeper. This girl is emotionally mature. She's not going to play those mind games with you. She's not needy at all. But you're going to keep her wanting more. I, I can already tell. 
I really like this. What's this new person's intentions for Leo? Okay. What's this new person's intentions? Ooh, they stuck on you. What is going on? Clarify the Nine of Swords for this person's intentions. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for this person's intentions with Leo. I think this person is... Tr oh, Lord. This person's going to fall for you fast. Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles. They're going to want to give and give and give to you. They're going to fall for you really fast. And they're not going to see it coming, Two of Swords. You're not going to see it coming. You're going to be married with two kids in, in two months. <laughs> this is going to happen fast. And I think this is cautioning you to take it slow. I see this person being very, like, smitten by you. Starstruck. What's the possible outcome? Yeah, King of Cups. Oh, my gosh. They're in love with you. Scorpio energy. Okay. What's the possible outcome with this new person? You already got the Ten of Cups. Okay. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for the possible outcome. Oh my God, what is going on? I saw this. I did not want to say anything. What's the possible outcome with this new person? Temperance. What does this mean? I got the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords reversed, and the Temperance. Clarify this energy for the possible outcome. I think this person has a child, and they didn't tell you. I think you might get married to someone who has a kid and they didn't tell you. The hermit card? What the fuck is this? Clarify the hermit card. This person got secrets. This person got secrets. Yeah, you, you need to get to know this person. This new person, they gonna come in super fast. They, I don't know what the fuck. That took a turn for the left. Like, with this Seven of Swords? What's going on? There's some shit that you're going to find out about this person with the temperance. They don't have money or something. I know y'all don't care about that, but the moon and the hermit card, there's some secrets going on. I think this person is going to try to get to know you really fast. And Spirit is cautioning you to slow down and get to know this person first and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. So I think the outcome is you're going to have to take a second look. So remember, you, the current people, y'all were like, who the fuck did I just get with? Who did I just marry? Who did I just have a baby by? This is this energy that I'm seeing and feeling right here. Like, who the fuck is this? And you already married with kids. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I don't really see third party here. I just see a lot of secrets. Sneaky energy. It could be third party. With the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. But I'm really seeing like, do not jump into nothing too fast. Do not jump in anything too fast. What the hell? That took a turn. Just don't jump into anything too fast. Don't let, don't let anybody love bomb you. And take your time with this new person. Take your time because I'm seeing like, there's some stuff that's going to come out about this new person. I think they're, I think they're, they could be possibly fine as hell, Sagittarius. They know how to love you right, Ace of Cups, and they can provide for you, Ace of Pentacles. But I just, just take your time. Don't get married and don't meet somebody and then two months later you're married. I don't, I don't know. Hell no. Okay, anything else? Okay, I know... There are other Leos who will get new people who won't go through this. So show me new love that we haven't already talked about, please. Show me new love for Leo that we haven't already talked about. It's you, Leo. They keep saying it. Five of Wands, Knight of Wands. You gotta, like, slow down. Leo, Leo slow down in and out of people lives a lot of conflict and drama getting five people pregnant 
it's, you're moving too fast with these people. Leo just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Oh, girls just want to have fun. Okay, this could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius coming towards you. Okay, that fire meets that fire. What's this new person's intentions? Four of Pentacles, to hold back from you, to hold on to you. Like, what is this? What's this person's intentions? No, hell no. Who is this? Who, who is this person? Who is this? Is this? Who is this new person, please? Five of Cups? Somebody you've already dealt with. Somebody you've already dealt with. Somebody you've already moved on from. Who is this? Clarify the Five of Cups. The Magician. Somebody, a Manifester, a Gemini, or a Virgo. Okay, what the fuck? I see this person deliberately coming in to f Five of Wands, Five of Swords, and Five of Cups. Whoever this new person is, I don't know if this is a new person or an old person. Take it how it resonates. Somebody is deliberately coming in to hurt you. Deliberately coming in to sabotage. Deliberately coming in to be in and out of your life. Is this a new person or a past person, please? Six of Wands, Three of Cups. Damn, this could be new or past. Clarify the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups. Is this a new person or a past person, please? Y'all know I love y'all. I'll be trying to see. Three of Wands? Somebody from a distance? Somebody been watching you from afar? This could be a past person. The Three of Wands always talks about past people waiting on you and shit. Somebody who turned their back on you? Three of Wands, Three of Cups? This is somebody who had you in a third party. If anybody comes to you, if anybody had you in a third party in the past, they come to you trying to get to know you and have a heart to heart conversation with you, they still have a third party and they will still hurt you and still betray you. And I'll still leave you. Yes, they will. Okay. I thought this was new. I thought this was new. Is this new? Is this new? Is this a new person? I asked about new. King of Cups is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. Le uh, Leo Sagittarius or whoever just did this shit to you what the fuck okay I'm done I'm, I'll do a bonus reading for y'all I love y'all Leo please take my advice if it don't resonate then it don't resonate uh, pray for protection check the description box I'll see y'all in y'all next reading I love y'all bye bye